What's up, guys? This is Machado here with Pro Play Games, here with the legendary Pat Hoban. Uh, just finished uh, topping the Kissimmee Regionals, yep. uh, one of the final ones here for the Dark Illusion season. And what were you playing? Uh, Burning Abyss. Burning Abyss, that's a new one. All right, yeah. let's, let's check out uh, the build. All right. Well, I basically hadn't been playing for a while. Um, so it, I don't necessarily like think this is the best deck. I don't really have an opinion. Um, I just haven't played very much. And I figured this was, you know, it's been in the meta for the last two years. I figured I could probably come back after having not played for the last three months and be able to play BA. So. Well, you did pretty well. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, so three Terra Top and Takenborg. Okay. Uh, tour guide. I guess I played, like, my build was a little bit different from a lot. I played, I guess, like, a lot of BAs. I played Barbar, Calcab, Rubik, two Livix, Alec, three Skarm, Seer, Graf, and two Farfas. Um, I don't know, I just basically wanted the most engine cards I could have. And Rubik uh, worked out good for you? I know that's a I didn't even play Virgil. Yeah. I just wanted the extra name. You just wanted the extra name? Yep. Okay. And you like the two far, uh, two far, far over three? Yeah, because um, mostly like I want to be like using its effects. So like if I draw it, it's not really one of the ones I want to draw that much. I'd rather draw one of the other ones so that I can like still use his effect at the same turn. Okay. And then for the Phantom Knights... Three boots, two I don't know the name, and one I don't, also don't know the name. Mm. Um, for the spells, um, I guess this is where it gets a little different. Um, so I did play 40 cards. I played Upstart. Of course. <laughs> three Desires. And um, I did not play Twin Twister, and I did not play Allure. Wow. That's... Um, I don't know, I think Twin Twister sucks, and I think... Allure also sucks. Like, Allure is just one of those cards where it's just like you either already have a play and you're like, well, I could maybe give up my play to maybe draw into another play and you end up not wanting to do it. Or, I don't know, it's just a very awkward card. I don't, I'm not a fan of it. Um, and I haven't played Twin Twister. Um, like, the top decks are like BA and Blue Eyes, and it doesn't seem like they play like a bunch of back row. Um, but instead I played triple mass change second. Um, the idea is that this is good going first or second, or if I draw a twin twister going first, like I don't want it in my hand. Um, but if I draw this, Dark Claw is broken going first. Um, if I draw it going second, I played Anki, so, um, I can still attack over, like, most things that I need to. Uh, then I played Foolish and Rota, just to maximize engine cards. Then for the traps, I played three fog blades. No limit. <laughs> uh, three strikes. This card sucks. I set it out almost every game. Uh, probably wouldn't play it again. What would you play over? Do you know? Or are you just um, play that? Yeah, what are you drinking? You finished? No, it's on the ground. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I think traps suck and. This one especially sucks. It's like, <laughs> yeah, like it doesn't do anything to B8 or Blue Eyes. Like, I don't know why this card's pretty standard. Yeah. I just took people's word for that, and it's not very good. English. Yeah, <laughs> they're not even mine either. Um, and then Emptiness. This was like, in, in my brief testing that I did for this tournament, this was like one of the common themes that I noticed that like every time anybody drew this card, they just won the game. So I was just like, I'm playing Emptiness no matter what deck I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> and then for the extra deck, um, played three Dante, didn't need the third, didn't know I wasn't supposed to play three, told you I haven't played. <laughs> um, Beatrice, uh, two Breaksword, two Levier, Nightmare Shark, Grand Pulse, Dark Rebellion, F-Zero, um, Purple Dante, <laughs> Dark Claw, and Anki. Alright, so what, is, what does Anki exactly do? I know this is a... If he kills a monster and he sends it to the graveyard, then he can search another mass change. Um, and then if... He can also attack my opponent directly, but he does half his attack um, if 
if uh, he attacks directly, so he'll do 14. He's like another Nightmare Shark off fast change, basically. Um, I made this one really cool play today where my opponent had, um, he's playing Satellers, and he had, <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, um, he had um, a bunch of that back row, and he had just triggered, so I knew he had a call set, and um, he was at 23. Um, and I draw the very last card of my deck, and it was a mass change second, and I had no other cards in my hand, and I had Beatrice and Dante on the field, and the Beatrice had a Dante under it, so I go attack with the Dante, and he flips the Mirror Force, so it returns him to the deck. Um, oh, my bad, I break sorted first, uh, and then popped a back row, and then summoned the two Phantom Knights, and then, um, but I didn't overlay with him, because I knew he played all the Mirror Force cards, so I just kept him in defense. And then I attacked, he mirror for, er, yeah, he used the Mirror Force that returns within the deck. Um, so then Dante added back Bar Bar. And then, uh, like I said, he's a 23. And so I went Mass Change, discard to Bar Bar. And then he goes down to um, uh, 14. Or does he was a 22, 23, whatever, it doesn't matter. He goes down to low enough where Anki could be summoned off the Mass Change that I discarded and then attacked directly through the Call of the Hunt into the game. <laughs> Um, so that was really cool, but unfortunately, um, the other card was a Mirror Force, and I <laughs> popped the card, so I, so I ended up decking out, but I thought it was a really cool play. Um, then I won the next two games, so that was alright, but I thought it was a cool play. Then for the side deck, I played two Maxi. Um, I don't, don't like this card in the main, huh? Nope, I think this card sucks. I've kind of always thought it sucked. But I only cited it for BA. I don't like it against Blogs. You heard it here first. Shout yeah. out to Travis Smith. They're all inherent. Because <laughs> they can just choose not to. I guess well. Eh. I'm, I'm trying to play with more cards. <laughs> then I played Triple Vanity Fiend. This card was really good. Um, triple Gamma Seal. Like, I know this card's level 8, and that if you do it on their, I don't know, Blue Eye Synchro or whatever, they can. Um, Exceed with it, but the reason I didn't play the level 7 is because he's 24 and Dark Law is 24. So I wanted to be able to attack over the game of Seal. Um, then I played 3 Twin Twister in the side deck. Then the last four cards I played were 3 Enemy Controller and a Gaia Charger. Um, these are honestly really good in the mirror match because um, like, I made this one play where he had like. Corbage Levier with uh, um, Break Sort. What is it called? The Trap. Fog yeah, Fog Blade that um, he had searched. And I made a Levier and detached and targeted something. And he flipped the Fog Blade. And I chained Econ and took his Levier. So I got <laughs> oh my monster and then I Leviered again. And it was just insane. I killed him on turn. Um, but I played the Gaia so that I could take Beatrice's and then overlay with it. Um, and it's also 26 in the mirror, which is, like, pretty relevant. True. Um, so, yeah, that was the deck. Damn, that was a pretty interesting deck profile. Thank you for sharing that with us. Yeah, um, for sure. Good to see you back in the scene. For uh, sure. Can't wait for Anaheim. Can't yeah, wait. Can't wait for, can't wait for you to come back strong. Yeah, uh, start attending more events. Um, thank you again, and good luck. Yeah, thanks.